Okay, so I'm going to do number one on the labware assignment um, for the tides and currents. Number one is a current problem. So I wanted to show you how to use the current book, which is a very similar um, way, but just a few little differences. So um, they told us in the problem what was the time and velocity of the current at um, New London Harbor at 1615, and that was zone description 5. Um, on December 26th. So the first step is to find where New London Harbor is. So we go to the table of contents. Let me bring that up here. So in the table of contents, we want to find New London Harbor. I'm trying to focus here. And I get the number of 2471. So that's that number on table two. I'm just going to write that number down, 2471. So then I can go to table 2, and I find my uh, 2471 New London Harbor entrance. I have the position that they give me, just like it did in the tie table, and then I have my time differences, and instead of having um, feet differences for tide, we have speed ratios. So what we're going to do with these speed ratios is ended up multiplying them. So everything that I have here on this line, I'm just going to write in. So I have my corrections, and then I'm going to write in what I have on that line. So 1, 22, 1, 22. Okay, so again, that was everything that I have right here on the line. I just wrote it across. So now what does this actually mean? This MBS is the minimum before flood. So that really just means what time is the slack water. This is the max flood. This is, again, minimum before ebb. So that would be slack. And then this is the ebb, and that's the max ebb. And then these are our, so this is for time. And this is speed here. So those are our two sections. So we have a little bit, a little more columns than we did on the tide table. Same thing on the tide table. When we look at our differences, we follow up to find our reference station. That's going to be in all caps given a page number. So the race, page 34, is our reference station. So I'm just going to write in the race, page 34. So let's go to page 34. Okay, so I flipped over to December on the race. So here we have the race in December, because we're looking for 1615 on December 26th. So we go to December 26th, and we want to write in. So I'm just going to um, copy these numbers down real quick so we could see those boldly. Okay, so what we're looking at on our reference station, zoomed in to the 26th, which is our day in question, we have slack times, then we have our max current times within the max current next to it. And that little S and little E symbolize if it's, if it's a flood or an ebb. So I am looking for 1615, which is going to be in between uh, 1344 and 16. So our times go kind of like that if we're going uh, numerically. So if we wanted to sandwich our 1615 
it would be in between 1344 and 1649. So I'm going to write in my 1434 first, and that is a flood. So that is a max flood. At, so max flood at 1344. And then I'm just going to write in the next time, chronologically in order here, uh, 1649. And that would be the minimum before the ebb. And then I'll just write in the ebb as well in case. Uh, 2016. And that was the time for that max ebb. So then um, I want to put in my speed or my velocity. So for my flood, it's going to be 3.0, and I'm going to leave it at that. My flood is 3.0, so this is the max velocity that I'm going for. So now I'm going to apply my corrections. Okay, so I did all three times, and now I can see if I just did these two, my sandwich for my 1615 wouldn't have worked. So I actually am working on my ebb, so I'm going to bring my 3.6 up there to my ebb column. And these are ratios, so we're always going to multiply them. So we have 0.36 which I'm just going to uh, round up to 0 0.4 knots. So then I'm going to put this in my, um, my little sandwich like I did for the other one. I'm going to erase. Also, um, we did not need to do um, daylight savings. If we had daylight savings time, we would be adding one hour. But our zone description is plus five, and our time meridian was 75. So those are the same. We don't have to do that um, daylight savings time correction. So what we have looks good. I'm going to write it chronologically and see what we're looking for. So we have uh, 14. 37, that was our slack. So we have zero. And then we have 1901, we have a max ebb of 0 0.4 knots. What I'm looking for is 1615. What is the current doing? Okay, so we need to get our information. So our duration between the two, we always put the later one on top. We have four hours, 24 minutes. And then for our, for our, instead of doing time to the nearest for current, we do time to, between slack and desired time. So this was our slack and desired time. And then when we do our factor, we always do it from the other one. So from our max, we put in our factor, a little f there. So time interval here. Do that real quick. So we have 138 as our 
time to the nearest slack. And again, that says that on the um, on our table. So oops, here it is. It says interval between slack and desired time, and interval between slack and maximum current. So we do just follow along. both of these I guess we'll go like that. okay so then when we go to our table our interval between slack and desired time was 138 so approximately 140 we're going to round to so here's our 140 and then our slack and maximum current that's our duration is about 425 so we're going to round that to about 420, and we get a factor of 0 0.6. So our factor is 0 0.6. So we multiply, we always multiply here, multiply our 0 0.6 times 0 0.4. 